This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Normally, you sync double system clips before you start editing. But when that's not possible, here's a workaround that shows how to sync double system audio to video that's already edited into the timeline. Dave asks, I have a question about making changes to audio after a project is edited. Specifically, how do you incorporate live or boom audio record a double system and how do you implement ADR, automated dialogue replacement? Well, this issue, Dave writes, came to mind when a friend took over for an editor only to discover the first editor didn't connect any of the double system audio. Well, there's a couple of issues here. The first issue is ADR, which is where the actor gets into a sound studio and records dialogue against the existing video, should never be done in Premiere or Final Cut. Neither of them can handle it. That's a job for Audition or Pro Tools. ADR is a specialized task, and you want to use specialized software to make it sound good and match the lip movement. So anything that deals with finished audio, I'm going to do in Pro Tools, or I'm going to do in in Resolve with Fairlight, or I'm going to do an audition. But I'm not going to do it in Premiere, and I definitely am not going to do it in Final Cut. For stuff like Final Cut, though, we can go back and add double system sound to a clip even after editing has started, though it gets tricky. My first recommendation is always sync double system clips before editing starts, and that way you're editing with the right sound all the way through. But we do have an option. Here, I've got a clapper slate because I'm recording this double system sound, but this is the camera sound here. This is about 10 feet away from me. I'm not going to play it because I don't have the system set up to play the audio, but we can illustrate this without actually hearing it. And I'm talking, but it's very noisy. It's very hollow. I want to replace it. The problem is I've got this edited. So let me, just because I can, I'm going to trim this. I'm going to keep the clap because we'll use that just to illustrate that we've hit sync. I'll move over to here. And we'll cut this, no, no, no. We'll cut this clip here, and get rid of this. So I've just done an edit. I don't have the whole clip. I have a portion of the clip, which is what every edit consists of. If I grab the source audio and drag the source audio down, grab, sorry, grab the source audio and drag the source audio down, because I've got this edited, let's pretend that I can't see the clap, so I can't marry that up. If I take a look at the time code by going up to window and go down to source time code, show that again, source time code and drag it over. All audio files except broadcast wave, which has the extension B wave, have no time code. So there's no time code that I can sync audio with. So that doesn't work. So instead, let's create a synced clip by selecting the video, selecting the audio, go up to Clip, Synchronize Clips, and we'll just leave the name alone. We'll store it there. We're going to use Audio for Synchronization. Click OK. We now have a synced clip. I'm going to grab this synced clip and drag it down. And look at this. I'm only three seconds off, so I'm going to hide everything here. And grab this clip and drag it until I hit exactly the sync. I'm going to use the period and the comma keys to move this until it gets into proper sync. Typing period. There we go. Now, watch this. It is perfectly synced. I've got the clapper here. I'm going to drag this out and... Wait a minute. The clapper's over here. Why doesn't the clap match? The reason is, is that when we synchronized... Look at this. It synchronized the audio, but the audio started before the video, which means the time code starts from the beginning of audio, not the beginning of video. It doesn't match. The way to fix that is we're going to grab the audio and drag it so it starts at the same time as the video. Now we'll back out. I simply double-clicked that clip to open it up in the timeline so I could edit the synced clip. Now when I grab the synced clip and drag it down, again, let's just trim this just so we can hide the clap, and drag this. Notice that I'm about two seconds out, so we'll get that trimmed back a bit here. There we go. Time code now perfectly matches, and look at that. The clap is perfectly synced. 
So it is possible to add double system sound. Then we'll just go through here, kill that audio. Double click this. Notice that's dead. We've got the audio source clip here. Everything is good. I'm now listening to the good audio. I can fix it on a clip by clip basis. And the secret is being able to have the audio and video start at the same time. So I can then match the time code of this video to the time code of the video that's edited inside the timeline. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 358. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.